Hi, boys and girls. Today, I'm going to read a book to you called Perfect by Max Amato, and it's published by Scholastic Books, and they've given me permission to read it to you today. Can you see how it looks like Pencil did all of that coloring, and then Eraser came through and wrote the word perfect? Do you think pencils and erasers have the same idea of what's perfect? Let's read a little bit and find out. Perfect by Max Amato. This page is perfectly clean, just the way I like it, and just the way it's going to stay. Squiggles be gone and smudges too. Eraser does not like pencil smudges. If you're left-handed like me, you know what that's all about. Your hand can drag across your pencil writing and make a smudge on your paper. Eraser does not like smudges. And you too. Look at that. He doesn't even want pencil anywhere near his perfectly clean page. No pencil can mess with me. Oh, look at this beautiful white page, ready for something. But Eraser likes it to stay just this way, nice and white. Hey! No pencil can mess with me. <laughs> pencil drew a picture of Eraser saying, no pencil can mess with me. your page. Get back here. Look at that face on Eraser. Do you remember we learned in the other book about how an artist can show feelings through the way they draw things? And the little boy drew his eyebrows kind of going like this. That's definitely what Eraser looks like to me. He's not having it. Look at him working so hard to erase that picture of himself. Oh my, look at what Pencil has done to that white page. Eraser's working so hard to get all those marks off and Pencil's just smiling away, happy as can be with his swirly whirly tornado drawing. <gasps> oh my. Look at poor Eraser. Ah! He's working so hard. He's trying to erase it all, but he just can't keep up. The wind is helping me turn these pages. <gasps> Look at this mess. It's everywhere. Seriously, everywhere. That's it. Prepare to disappear, Eraser says to all the pencil marks. I bet you can sound that out. Uh-oh. That face says uh-oh, doesn't it? Might not even need the words to know what Eraser's thinking there. Oh, boys and girls. I don't know if I can show you the next page pretty scary for eraser. You want to see? <gasps> pencil drew in a whole army of pencils ready to color all over eraser's page. Oh my, poor little eraser. <laughs> They're coming for him. He better run. Look, he's leaving little pieces of eraser all over the page as he goes and runs away. <sighs> Pencil has gone ahead of eraser and has drawn a forest. Oh my. <gasps> Whoa, look at all that pencil drawing. Look at poor little eraser in there. 
like scared. All that pencil. I'll never be able to fix all of this, says Eraser. Urgh, argh, no! Oof, why? Ah! Hmm. Makes another one. Look what he's gonna draw with himself. Not bad. What did he draw in the middle of that deep dark pencil forest? He erased a sunshine. <gasps> Look at this. He's drawn planets and a rocket ship. He's getting in, he says, here I go. Look at all those loop-de-loops he's erased in his rocket ship eraser drawing. That is really cool looking. Eat my dust, he says to Pencil. Wahoo! <laughs> Got to blow all those eraser shavings out of his mouth. <laughs> See, no pencil can mess with me. Perfectly clean. Does he look very happy about it? Kind of had a lot of fun doing those drawings, didn't he? I think he enjoyed his trip to space that he was able to draw in the pencil. He shouts up to Pencil. P, just like on our front cover. And look, they're both smiling. Perfect. That was cute. Did they learn to work together? to do their artwork, even though they had different ideas of what a perfect page looked like. One of them liked it totally blank at first, and one of them liked it with scribbles and coloring all over it. And they worked together. They formed a good partnership where they could both do things they enjoyed. Plus, art's kind of like that, isn't it? We want it to be just right, but sometimes a mistake can take us on a new direction and we like it even more than what we started out to do. He started out wanting to keep that page nice and clean with no smudges, just the way he liked it. But he learned through playing and chasing and all of his hanging out with, with pencil that it was actually fun to do a little artwork. I enjoyed that story and I hope that you'll try this way of drawing. You can, can get a pencil and do some shading and then do some eraser pictures or writing in it if you want to. That would be kind of fun and something different. Well, thanks for listening. And as you know, you can check this book out at our Covenant Day School Library when we get back to school.